Hello everyone, welcome to Equis IT Tech. Let's open the Arduino IDE. Next, go to the Tools option. Next, Board and Boards Manager. Under Boards Manager, we have ESP8266. So right now, I have Node MCU 1.0. After selecting the board, let's go to the Tools option again because we need to select the board. And here it's COM1. Now let's go to the file option, next examples, and under node MCU 1.0, let's choose the ESP8266. Here it is. Now the blink example. Now the upload is not successful. We are getting an error. A fatal ESP tool dot py error occurred. Failed to connect to ESP8266. Timed out waiting for the packet header. Now, what is the cause behind this error? We need to find out because the port option is already enabled, right? Yes. So let's go to the device manager to find out the exact reason behind this error. Maybe in Arduino ID the port is enabled, but here the proper driver for the node MCU board is not available. So that's why we need to export the device manager. To export the device manager option, you can go to the my computer and right click on my computer, right? Next, go to manage. Now in the left hand side, various options are available. Let's go to the device manager. Now for the microcontroller, we need a proper USB to UART driver, fine. And uh, here you can see one warning sign, right? That means the proper driver is not available with the system. Now here you can see the proper CP210 driver is missing in the system. That's why the node MCU board is unable to communicate with the Arduino ID. And that's why we are getting the fatal ESP tool error. Now what to do to solve this error? Let's remember the driver. It's CP210, right? In Google, search for CP2102 driver. Next, download the CP2102X USB to URT driver from Silicon Labs. Next, go to the downloads option. And here you need to download the CP2102X universal Windows driver. It will take a couple of seconds to download the driver. Next, go to the download folder. Next, right click on the chip file and extract the file. It's done. Again, we need to visit the device manager. Now, in the right hand option, let's go to the other devices. Now, right click on the CP2102 USB2 UART bridge controller and next, update the driver. Now, don't choose the search automatically for drivers. Let's go to the right folder and select the driver. Now, so, yeah. Now, in the downloads, now we have the driver in the downloads. Select the proper folder where the file is available. It's done. Next. Now, Windows successfully installed the driver. Let's close it. After installing the driver, let's go to the ports option. Now you can visualize Silicon Labs CP201 USB2 UART port. That means we have successfully installed the driver for our Node MCU microcontroller. So don't forget to remember the port number. Here it's COM4. Now it's time to open the Arduino ID. And here it is. Before uploading the port, we need to select the proper board and the communication port. Let's select the board and port option. Here it's node MCU 1.0. Now, for ports, we are going to select the COM4 serial port. It's time to upload the code. The 
upload process is complete and the built-in LED is clinking. The board is working fine. Now I am going to change this node MCU board with another one. Let's upload the code. But unfortunately, we are getting the same error. Fatal is vital dot py. Now we have solved this right, but but why again we are getting the same error? We have various node MCU boards, and the drivers for those boards are different. Typically, we have two types of drivers associated with the node MCU board. One is CP201X, another one is CH340. Let's go to the device manager to find the actual problem. Now, here the driver is not CP2012, right? And instead, we need another driver. And here it's CH340. If you go back side of the board, it's clearly mentioned. And if it's not, you need to find out the right driver applicable for your board. So right now, the driver associated with this node MCU microcontroller is not available in the system. So we need to download the CH340 driver and install the same to upload the code in this current node MCU board. Let's download the driver. I will share the URL in the description box. In my PC, it's already downloaded. Let's go to the download folder. And here it is. Now we need to extract the file. Next, go to the driver setup. Install the driver. So the installation process is successful. Let's go to the device manager. Click on the ports option. Now, here we have the right driver for the microcontroller board. Here it's CH340 and the communication port is COM5. Before uploading the code, let's verify the port. For that, let's go to the tools option. Next port and here, select COM5. Now it's done. Let's upload the code. Now the upload is successful.